Welcome back to our channel as we celebrate life once again. Recently, we've lost some remarkable talents. In this video, we'll pay tribute to American celebrities and other notable figures from around the world who have recently passed away. Before we begin, please take a moment to like this video, it means so much to us. Thank you. Now, let's dive in. Beloved actor Alan Rakins, known for his roles in the iconic series L.A. Law and Dharma and Greg, has passed away at the age of 82. His wife, actress Joanna Frank, confirmed that he experienced heart failure and died peacefully in his sleep at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Originally from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Rakins moved to New York City to pursue acting, studying under notable mentors like Kim Stanley and Warren Robertson. He gained fame in 1986 as Douglas Brackman Jr. on L.A. Law, a role that ran until 1994 and earned him an Emmy and Golden Globe nomination in 1988. Rakins met his future wife, Joanna Frank, on the show, where she played his character Spouse. The series held special significance for him, having been created by his late younger brother, Stephen Bochco. After L.A. Law, Rakin starred as Larry Finkelstein, the free-spirited father on Dharma and Greg from 1997 to 2002, appearing in every episode. He also had a diverse career in films like Showgirls, Leave it to Beaver, and Terminal Voyage, and reprised his role in L.A. Law, the movie in 2002. Rakins made guest appearances on popular shows such as Rizzoli and Isles, General Hospital, Grey's Anatomy, and NCIS. His voice work included roles in animated series like Scooby-Doo and The Spectacular Spider-Man. His final performance was in the 2023 short film The Lights Above. He is survived by his wife, Joanna Frank, and their son, Robert. Henry Fambrow, an original member of the legendary R&B group The Spinners, has passed away peacefully at the age of 85 from natural causes at his home in Northern Virginia. Born in Detroit in 1938, Fambrow co-founded The Spinners in 1954, lending his distinctive baritone to the group alongside Purvis Jackson, Billy Henderson, Bobby Smith, and C.P. Spencer. They became icons in the R&B genre with timeless hits like Could It Be I'm Falling in Love, It's a Shame, and Then Came You, a duet with Dionne Warwick. Under the guidance of Atlantic Records producer Tom Bell, the Spinners produced classics like Games People Play and The Rubber Band Man, earning six Grammy nominations and 18 platinum and gold records. Fambrow's last public appearance was in November 2023 at the group's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where he expressed joy in representing his late bandmates. Although he retired in April 2023, his dedication to the group's legacy remained strong. Fambrow is survived by his wife of 52 years, Norma, and their daughter, Heather. His contributions to American soul music will be cherished by fans and remembered in history. Anne Whitfield, best known for her role as Susan Waverly in the 1954 holiday classic White Christmas, has passed away at 85 after an accidental fall while walking near her home. Her family expressed gratitude for the neighbors who provided essential medical support, allowing them a chance to say goodbye. Whitfield began acting at age four and gained fame at 15 in White Christmas, sharing the screen with stars like Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney. Her career spanned notable TV roles in Peter Gunn, The Untouchables, and The Donna Reed Show. In the 1970s, she left Hollywood, earned a communications degree, and pursued environmental activism in Washington. Later, she managed a bed and breakfast and celebrated her 85th birthday hiking in the Italian Alps. Her family described her as a powerhouse and advocate, hoping her legacy of love and positive energy will live on. She is survived by three children and seven grandchildren, and her life will be celebrated on March 22 at the Cove Community Club in Washington. Terry Garr, the celebrated actress known for her roles in Young Frankenstein and Tootsie, has passed away at 79 after a long battle with multiple sclerosis. Her publicist confirmed that she died peacefully on Tuesday, surrounded by family and friends. Born in Ohio in 1944 to a show business family, Gar began her career as a dancer before transitioning to acting. 
She trained at the Actor Studio in New York City and gained recognition for her roles in six Elvis Presley films and a notable Star Trek episode. Her breakout performances came in the 1970s with roles in Young Frankenstein, for which she was acclaimed for her comedic timing, and The Conversation. Gar received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Tootsie. Despite facing health challenges due to MS, which began affecting her during filming, she remained active in Hollywood, appearing on numerous television shows and becoming an ambassador for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Gar slowed her workload and retired from acting in 2011 to focus on her health. She is survived by her daughter, Molly O'Neill, and her grandson, Tyron. Terry Gar's legacy as a beloved and versatile actress will be remembered by fans and peers alike. Don Murray, the Oscar-nominated actor famous for his role opposite Marilyn Monroe in Bus Stop, 1956, has passed away at 94. His son, Christopher, confirmed the news to the New York Times. Murray's portrayal of a naive cowboy in Bus Stop earned widespread acclaim, launching a career filled with iconic roles. He later appeared in the 2017 Twin Peaks revival and was remembered for roles in Conquest of the Planet of the Apes and as Brooke Shields' father in Endless Love. On TV, he became beloved as Sid Fairgate on Knott's Landing. Murray's versatility shone through in roles like a troubled Korean War veteran in A Hatful of Rain, 1957, and a principled senator in Advise and Consent, 1962. He also wrote and starred in The Hoodlum Priest, 1961, a film about a priest helping street gangs, reflecting his passion for social themes. Born into a family of performers, Murray grew up surrounded by the arts. He trained at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and quickly rose to success in both theater and film. Known for his intensity and authenticity, Murray leaves behind a lasting legacy in Hollywood. Beloved TikTok personality Taylor Rousseau Grigg was laid to rest at just 25 years old. Her husband, Common Grigg, shared moments from the emotional ceremony on Instagram, including a tribute to his beautiful princess and a flower adorned casket. The song, Here Without You, by Three Doors Down, played in her honor, and images showed symbols of Taylor's vibrant spirit, like cowboy hats, white roses, and boots. Common had shared the news of Taylor's passing on October 5, noting the unexpected pain. Taylor had bravely faced significant health challenges, including severe asthma and Addison's disease, which she spoke about in an August TikTok post. Despite her struggles, she remained strong and inspiring. Common launched a GoFundMe to help with medical expenses, as the couple had faced ongoing hospital bills without insurance. He expressed deep gratitude for the support during this time, reflecting on Taylor's impact and resilience, which touched countless lives. Ron Ely, best known for his role as Tarzan in the classic 1966-1968 TV series, has passed away at 86. His daughter, Kirsten, confirmed the news on Instagram, sharing a heartfelt tribute to her father. She described him as a hero and an inspiration, emphasizing his roles as an actor, writer, mentor, and dedicated family man. Kirsten fondly recalled her father's strength, humor, and compassion, saying he made the world brighter for everyone who knew him. Ely's career spanned numerous popular shows, including The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Wonder Woman. He also starred in the 1975 film Doc Savage, The Man of Bronze. Although he retired from acting to focus on family, he was committed to his children's lives, often stepping away from Hollywood to be present for them. Kirsten's message reflected on her father's unwavering support and her commitment to honoring his legacy. She also found comfort in believing he was reunited with her mother and brother, who tragically passed in 2019. Ron Ely's legacy as a beloved actor and devoted family man lives on in cherished memories and impactful performances. Legendary Hollywood stuntman Mickey Gilbert passed away at 87, leaving a legacy of daring and skill. Known for iconic stunts, Gilbert famously doubled for Robert Redford in Butch Cassidy in The Sundance Kid, where he performed the daring cliff jump, and for Gene Wilder in films like Blazing Saddles and Silver Streak. 
His son Tim confirmed that Gilbert passed away peacefully at his home in Camarillo, California. A Hollywood stuntman's Hall of Fame inductee, Gilbert's career spanned decades, including work on films like The Sting, The Towering Inferno, and The Blues Brothers. Born in Los Angeles in 1936, he grew up on a chicken ranch, trained in gymnastics and rodeo, and eventually became a national rodeo champion before finding his calling in Hollywood. Beyond acting as a stunt double, he also worked as a stunt coordinator on films like Apollo 13 and Bruce Almighty, solidifying his expertise both in front of and behind the camera. His legacy is carried on by his family, with his sons, grandsons, and granddaughters all active in Hollywood stunt work, representing four generations of talent. Gilbert's memoir, Me and My Saddle Pal, My Life as a Hollywood Stuntman, chronicles his adventures and contributions to the action genre, leaving an enduring mark on Hollywood stunt work. Beloved Days of Our Lives actor Drake Hodgston has passed away at 70 from pancreatic cancer, just one day before his 71st birthday. Known for his iconic role as John Black, Hodgston's family shared a heartfelt message through Days of Our Lives on social media, highlighting his resilience, strength, and the love that surrounded him in his final moments. Hodgston, born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, initially pursued baseball and played in the New York Yankees minor league before an injury in 1977 led him to acting. After a breakout role in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, he joined Days of Our Lives in 1986, where his portrayal of John Black and his romance with Marlena Evans, played by Deidre Hall, captivated fans. Tributes poured in from friends and colleagues, with Days producer Ken Corday calling him, the ultimate team player. Co-stars Allison Sweeney and Christian Alfonso remembered his humor, kindness, and dedication on set. Hodgston leaves behind a legacy cherished by fans, family, and colleagues who will treasure his memory, for all the days of their lives. Oklahoma-born singer-songwriter Toby Keith has passed away at 62 after a courageous battle with stomach cancer. Known for hits like Red Solo Cup and Should Have Been a Cowboy, Keith left a mark on country music with songs that celebrated honky-tonk life, patriotism, and grit. Born on July 8, 1961, Keith grew up on a farm, working rodeos and oil fields, and married his lifelong partner, Tricia Lucas, in 1984. Keith's career took off in 1993 with Should Have Been a Cowboy, the most played country song of the decade, launching him into stardom. His blend of humor and sincerity shone through in award-winning tracks like How Do You Like Me Now and Beer For My Horses. A five-time ACM Entertainer of the Year and a member of the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Keith also gained recognition for his patriotic anthems, including the controversial Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Beyond music, Keith made his mark with his restaurant chain, I Love This Bar and Grill, and performed for several U.S. presidents. Despite revealing his cancer diagnosis in 2021, he continued to perform, even returning to the stage in 2023. His final public message expressed optimism, I've got the devil by the horns right now. Toby Keith's legacy of resilience, patriotism, and storytelling endures in the world of country music. Sylvester Stallone's journey to stardom is a story of resilience and determination. Born in 1946 in Hell's Kitchen, New York, he faced numerous challenges from an early age, including partial facial paralysis that affected his speech and a turbulent family life. Despite academic and social struggles, Stallone found purpose in athletics and theater, ultimately moving to New York in 1970 to pursue acting. In 1975, inspired by a boxing match, he wrote Rocky and refused to sell the script unless he starred in it. This gamble paid off, as Rocky became a massive success, winning three Academy Awards and launching Stallone's career. His portrayal of Rocky Balboa resonated with audiences, symbolizing resilience and the spirit of the underdog. The Rocky franchise spanned decades, and his role in Creed earned him an Academy Award nomination. Stallone also introduced the iconic character John Rambo in First Blood, exploring themes of trauma and survival. Known for performing his own stunts, he sustained numerous injuries over his career and maintained a rigorous fitness regimen. 
Off-screen, Stallone has faced personal challenges, including the tragic loss of his son Sage and the journey of raising a son with autism, which reshaped his views on family and responsibility. Despite these hardships, he remains close with his family, including his wife Jennifer Flavin and their three daughters. In recent years, Stallone has expanded his work, starring in The Expendables and the series Tulsa King, while also sharing personal insights on social media. His decades-long career embodies persistence, making him a Hollywood icon and a symbol of determination and the underdog spirit.